Hello and welcome to this short tutorial where I'm going to show you how to code a very simple but enjoyable game in scratch scratch coding. Okay, so this is the game I'm going to show you. It's called the jump game and it's jumping over puppies. And let's look how it works. Here we go. Okay, so you keep jumping until the dog hits you and you get a point for every puppy that you jump over. So that's the game that we're going to code. Okay, how do we go about coding it? Well, let's have a look here. Okay, so you go to your Scratch and then you click on the Login to Scratch. Login to Scratch is free. And then you click on Create and it will open up a brand new page for you. Uh, once the page is open up, the first thing you need to do is choose your character. So who do you want jumping? So it can be the, it can be this guy, it can be uh, the cat, but um, you can choose anyone you like. So, let's have a look. Like I said, last time I chose Ben last time. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, code to jump. So we use the space bar to jump. So let me set where I want to start. I want to start over here. Okay. So you can 
see as I move him around, the position also updates on him. So I know I'm going to have him here. So minus 80, 190, 190 minus 80. You can see it here. Put that information straight into there. And then we're going to have the glide function. So glide is like to move. So, I actually want two dogs because just having one dog is a little bit easier. So, I'm going to duplicate this one. Okay. And the code is the same. Okay, so, if I hit run, they run at the same time. Okay, so, you see, actually, there's two dogs here. And at the same time. So, what I need to do on dog two is I need to, to make him wait at the beginning okay, so that he doesn't start at exactly the same time. So what I will do is I'm going to add some extra code in here. Again, jumping over those things like just like that, okay? But what I haven't got at the moment is the points, so I need to add scoring to him. And we do that down in the variable section. So we go over to variables, okay, and I make a variable. So I'm gonna say score. Okay. So we have the score out there, see? Okay. And what I'll do is I will have a thing so that every time he jumps over him successfully, he will get a point. I also need to do something so that at the beginning of that game, uh, the score is reset, otherwise the score will continuously add up. Okay. So at the beginning of the game, I click the green flag, set the score to zero. And another 
thing I need to do is set where he's going to start from. Okay. So when I click the green flag, he will then start from this point here. Okay, so let's have a little go and see if this works. That's the great thing about Scratch, okay? you can change things and it makes them go up and down. Okay, great, and there you go, that's the game for you, okay? Every time you hit the green button, it will reset and you'll be ready to play again. So, I hope that helps, um, and it kind of shows you, you know, the good thing about Scratch is you can edit things, you can change things, you can make it faster, you can make it jump higher, you can make it easier, and make it more difficult. Um, but it really, really is a great game. And then when you're finished, you write your title at the top. Dog jumping game. Okay, and then you click share. And then publish your game and anyone can watch it. And anyone can play it. Absolutely. Okay, well, thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. Um, I hope you will be able to uh, create this game. And please do check out all our other games. We're going to have other games. Lots of different types of games and you'll find they're as easy to code as this. So thanks for watching.